well for the travel trends for Chinese New Year. Earlier we spoke to Xiang Li. He's a professor of the School of Tourism and Hospitality Management at Temple University. We asked him about the large Chinese travel boom during the holiday. Um, as you all know, that the Lunar uh, New Year, the Spring Festival break, is usually one of the top, the peak seasons of Chinese tourism, and this year appears to continue being so. And a report, a recent report released by China Tourism Academy, suggested that there will be about 343 million Chinese who are planning to take a domestic travel, domestic trip somewhere in China during the seven-day Spring Festival break. Travel during the Spring, fe uh, spring Festival break, there are at least uh, three reasons for people to travel. Uh, some, which means that the people travel for better weather, uh, snow, that some of them are interested in winter sports, and then smog, which of course is they're not going after smog, they want to avoid pollution and uh, go um, visit destinations who have better air quality. But if we're talking about overseas travel, travel abroad, travel outbound, then we also see there is another S, study, that people want to use travel as an opportunity for self-investment. They want to know more about the world and they want to experience different destinations, culture that is a little bit different from their home. For domestic and international travel, we, what we have seen is um, that Chinese tourists are more and more comfortable and confident in traveling, traveling abroad or traveling in China. They're more interested in seeking authentic travel experiences. They're more interested in not just the, only the iconic destinations and attractions, but also going to places kind of the after beaten track and seeking more authentic uh, um, experience with the locals and with local food, with local culture. Um, another trend we have seen this year is that more and more Chinese tourists are taking more um, customized tour, meaning that they're not just taking, you know, the stereotype is that Chinese tourists usually go in groups and they travel with their camera and only interested in the iconic um, attractions. But increasingly what we have seen is that they are more in now, they're more interested in more customized tours and they want to go to places and, uh, and use itineraries that are only designed for them and for their family and friends. We are seeing an increasing interest in cruise, uh, meaning that more Chinese are uh, comfortable with the idea of cruise, taking a cruise vacation. We have seen more young Chinese family taking their kids um, to go to somewhere, either within China or um, somewhere international, for a theme park tour, that meaning that they take their kid and this entire families uh, celebrate a couple of days vacation in a theme park and uh, as well as doing some sightseeing in the destination.